This is 473. And we are looking to determine the maximum power. You want the max power that can be delivered through the resistor R. So we want the max power through R. And this is a maximum power, so we need to find the Thevenin voltage and we need to find the Thevenin resistance. We need to find both of these. And we have our terminals here, A and B. So we want to find the maximum power through here. Okay, so the first step, first step is to turn off all independent sources and find the Thevenin resistance. So we're finding the Thevenin resistance. And I'm just gonna, so we turn this off and we get, a circuit that looks like this. And we're looking at A and B here. And as you can see, we shorted this. So this connects here to here. So that is the same node. That is the same point. So what we can do, let's label this C and this C here, right? I'm gonna redraw this circuit so it's easier to visualize, easier to see. And I'm gonna call this A up here and B down here. And we have our 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 5 ohm and 25. So from A, we have our 10 ohm is connected to C, A to C. So I'm gonna draw this as 10 ohms and I'm gonna label this point here C. This is C. So 10 ohms is connected between A and C. Right here and likewise our our 20 ohm is connected from a to c a to c for 20 ohm so i'm going to draw so these two are connected 10 and 20 and our 25 ohm is connected between B and C, B and C. So I'm gonna draw 25 here. And five ohm is also connected between B and C, five ohms here. So what you can see here is these two are in parallel. The 10 and the 20 are in parallel. 10 is in parallel with 20 here. And 25 is in parallel with five. So these two circuits are equal to each other. These two circuits are equal. So let's simplify this circuit a little bit. Let's simplify. So by putting these two together, combining these two, we get 10 times 20. Combining these two, 10 times 20, divided by 10 plus 20, which is 200 divided by 30. And our 25 and five, move that down a little bit. Our 25 and five is 25 times five 
divided by 25 plus 5. So that looks like that is 25, 125 times or over 30. Okay. So what we have here is our A and B, and this is 200 over 30, and this is 125 over 30, and these two are in series. We're looking for this R Thevenin, which is equal to 200 plus 125 over 30, so that's 200 plus 125 divided by 30, which is equal to 325 divided by 30, and that is equal to 65 divided by 6. And uh, let's see if that can be simplified. All right, 65 divided by 6, it looks like. Um, which is also equal to 10.83 ohms. All right, so that is R Thevenin, 65 over 6 ohms. So what is now we need our Thevenin voltage, our Thevenin voltage. So if we turn back on this 60 volts here, we turn that back on, so let's draw that circuit, we have 60 volts. And we have A and B. And then we have 10 ohms, 25, 20, and 5. So the voltage at A, this voltage here, we can do a voltage divider, voltage divider here, if this is zero volts, we have our voltage divider, and our voltage divider is going to be 20, this, divided by 20 plus 10 times our 60 volts. So the voltage at A is 40 volts, and then we can do the voltage at B, this voltage over here, is going to be equal to five volts divided by 25 plus five times our 60 volts, times our 60 volts. And that comes out to be 10 volts. So our voltage AB, which is equal to our Thevenin voltage, is equal to 40 minus 10 volts. So this is at 40 volts, and this is at 10 volts. So the voltage between here is 40 minus 10 volts, which comes out to be 30 volts. So we have our Thevenin voltage, 30 volts, and our Thevenin resistance, which is 65 over six ohms. And now we just need to figure out the maximum power. The max is the Thevenin voltage squared divided by four R Thevenin. So we have 30 volts squared divided by four times 65 over six. And that comes out to be 
20.77 watts. And that is our maximum power that we can get through that variable resistor. 